Crotalus pihus is a venomous pit viper species found in the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico, a medium-sized snake. It is found mostly in rocky country, active at night and feeding on small mammals. The coloration is variable and depends on the color of the rocks and soil of the habitat. Adults grow to an average length of 3 feet, 91 cm, but may sometimes exceed 4 feet, 120 cm. The color pattern is variable, depending on the color of the rocks and soil of the habitat. The snake's ground color may be pink, brown, gray, yellow or nearly white, and speckled with black and white. The pattern may consist of rhombs, bands or blotches. The tail is ringed. Common names. Southwestern speckled rattlesnake. Bleached rattlesnake. Mitchell's rattlesnake. Pale rattler. Pallid rattlesnake. Red rattlesnake. Speckled rattlesnake. White rattlesnake. The diet consists mostly of small mammals. Although birds and lizards are also taken, the latter especially by juveniles. There is one report of a large specimen that contained a nearly grown cottontail rabbit, Silvilagus audubonii sancta dg. Another report describes a specimen that had eaten eight birds, most likely goldfinches, that had been attracted to a small fountain installed as a bird bath at a desert camp. Females giving birth to as many as 12 live young. Rattlesnake bite may be noted with severe envenomation and delayed treatment. The complications may rarely include multiple bites, causing injection of a large quantity of venom, internal hemorrhaging, blood clotting defects resulting in internal bleeding. Hartnett, 1931, describes a case of a man who was bitten on his left thumb. Aside from the sharp stab of the fangs being embedded, there was no pain until after an incision had been made and antivenin had been administered. There was then severe pain that lasted for about an hour after the bite, followed eventually by much discoloration and swelling, his fingers looking like red bananas. His fingers and wrist were covered with blebs and his palm with one large blister. In another case, a man was bitten on his heel, through his overalls and a sock. At first, the sensation was like being struck by a thorn, with only a drop of blood at fang mark. After 45 minutes and a 1 plus 14 miles, 2.0 km, walk, a tourniquet was applied and an incision made. Four hours later, his calf was considerably swollen and discolored, which was later followed by pain in the groin. Further symptoms were obscured by the treatment and an uneventful recovery was made.